Did he fall down again? No! I'm trying to figure out why people still don't like us. Oh yeah, I mean, we're doing a great job, right? We've created like 13 million jobs. Bidenomics, those right-wingers say that letting people go back to work after we kept them locked down isn't really creating new jobs, but no one's going to believe them. Exactly! They think there's only two genders and that only women can have periods. They're so ignorant! I know, right? Like, dude, we were out here supporting the U.S. women's national soccer team, and they're happy that they lost. So un-American. It's ridiculous! They're supposed to support athletes who hate America. People who don't support people who don't like America are anti-American. Why don't they get that? Beats me, they're too busy complaining about everything all the time. Seriously, whining about inflation and everything? Blows my mind. Yeah, what's up with that? Inflation spiked as soon as we got here, but that was clearly Trump's fault. I know, right? And when gas was cheaper under Trump, that was because of Obama. That's how it works. Exactly. When good things happen under us, it's thanks to us. And when bad things happen under us, we blame Trump. Absolutely. Oh, hey, speaking of that racist that black rappers used to praise before he ran for president, should we indict him again some more? Nah, not yet. We should only do that every other month, otherwise they'll accuse us of election interference. Good call. Let's send some more money to Ukraine while we're at it. How about another couple billion? Makes sense to me. We need to protect them in their border. Yeah, protecting their borders while leaving ours wide open is a brilliant idea. Absolutely, I'm glad you always agree with me. That's my job. Disagreeing is a threat to our democracy, right? America is a democracy, right? Hey, let's not start thinking too much now. My bad, let's get back to our agenda. Good idea. Hey, how about we tell them the climate is changing again? Do you really think they'll buy that? Yeah, it's never been hot in the summer before. If we tax them more, that will make the weather gooder. You are so right. Taxing people because of the temperature is the best way to lower the temperature. I know, the less you think about it, the better. <laughs> Thinking is racist. Exactly. Okay, and after that, we need to think about ways to keep restoring honor and decency to the White House. I agree, but how are we going to do that? Well, the next election is almost here, so we should go all out. How about topless influencers on the White House lawn? Well, we already did that though, remember? But we could try calling our opposition white supremacists some more. Oh yeah, that would be a great way to bring everyone together just like we said we would. What if we partnered with Dylan Mulvaney to deliver that message? Great idea. He's great at helping to reform a brand's image, right? People love him so much. Such a stunning and brave man, I mean woman. Good save, almost had to cancel you there. Do you think we should also reach out more to the youth? They are our largest voting bloc. I love that our ideas are mainly popular with young people who are still living at home with their parents. Me too, they're the smartest ones. Should we try to make it a hate crime to refuse to call them by whatever pronouns they identify with each day? Don't ask me stupid questions. Of course we will. We have to protect them, especially the trans ones, right? If we didn't start recruiting them early, that group would go extinct. <laughs> don't say that. You're right, but don't say that. My bad, my bad. Maybe we could keep them from realizing that by promising student debt forgiveness? That's genius! Let's say that but not mean it, okay? Perfect! Looks like we have a solid list. What happens though if this doesn't work? We could just impeach Trump again, don't worry! Oh yeah, that always fixes things! And if we need a last resort, call our opponents white supremacists some more? You know it, no matter what color they are! That'll definitely help us look tolerant and inclusive. Exactly! We've got 2024 in the bag.